Hey, this is Nicholas with the Backyard Tardis here with some more adventures in locksmithing. Um, capping off our, our week-long look at different law enforcement agencies that I've worked with. And, um, you know, we've we've talked about the sheriff, of course. That's what I do the most work with. The police. Uh, we did SWAT, state troopers, highway patrol. Uh, and then yesterday we had the bonus one with the um, animal control and uh, the brave ladies that uh, work at our local animal control. And uh, even though this isn't law enforcement, I felt uh, another bonus one here, uh, the fire department. I do a lot of work for the fire department, and uh, they're big promoters of me. They, they hand out my card. Uh, one of the things the fire department does is they do inspections uh, to make sure that fire routes are safe. And uh, something that comes up is sometimes as uh, businesses expand, um, or the rules change, what used to be an acceptable um, way of an exit no longer is. Uh, oftentimes this is single, access, uh, single action egress. And so like if you have a front door that has a deadbolt with a thumb turn, uh, that's not acceptable because you have to be able to just get out without having to uh, pull a lever down or push on a bar. Uh, you can't have to also turn uh, a lever. Or a, a knob switch so uh, the worry is that like a kid could go up lock it and then a fire could happen and everybody pile on the door not be able to get out in a panic situation so they uh, call on me to put it so it's a double-sided lock or it's a, uh, a deadbolt where when you pull the lever handle down it unlocks the deadbolt with an interconnect and um, if it's a double-sided lock, we got to put a sticker up above that says this door to remain unlocked during business hours. Um, so that's one of the main things. The other thing I do for the fire department is they maintain a lot of gates out in the country. Gates for PG&E, all these service roads, they got to be able to get into a lot of places. And so I provide them with Knox boxes for uh, buildings to be able to have... Uh, for like commercial units so they have a key to be able to get in in the case of an emergency um, we have um, padlocks for all the gates all keyed heavy duty padlocks because of course you know you got trespassers hunters different different ones that want to go out onto the, the middle of nowhere um, properties and they bust their locks so they're always getting better and beefier locks for me and um but the one thing I don't do with them is I don't, uh, they don't ever call me out to go open something. You know, in the movies, you, you always see the, the police breaking in, busting in. And that's kind of a little bit of a fallacy. Unless there's a, a, a murderer or, you know, someone's, you know, considered a high dangerous target, uh, they don't break into house. Even if they're going to arrest somebody, they, uh, they don't just break into a house. A lot of times I get called out to go open the house um, with their searching, investigating. They don't just kick a door in or uh, take a tool to it. They they have me uh, get into it. But the fire department, on the other hand, if they're entering, it's because it's an emergency. So they're always under the assumption that if they're having to go into a house, it's life-threatening and they will bust in a door. Uh, so they're never, or cut a chain, uh, uh, bust down a fence, uh, whatever they got to do to get to that fire or that potential threat, uh, whether it be claims of a gas leak, whatever, firemen bust down that door. And so I don't get calls there. But when they're doing their inspections and there's something that needs to be fixed, they'll hand out my card. And when it comes to taking care of their own shop, they do that. Um... They stay on standby, and I've I've had a couple of jobs where um, you know uh, sometimes tensions are high. I've had a customer once have a heart attack right on the scene. It was the fire department there, so uh, you know sometimes they they get a bad rap in media. Uh, they're always kind of shown as the bad guys in the cop shows, but the cops and the um, in our in our small town communities out here in the country, uh, the cops and the fire department get along quite well. So there's no, no rivalry like they show, uh, in the big cities. And, uh, so wrapping off this week, you know, 
talking about I have really good experiences with a lot of the different ones, of course, as, as I brought out, not, not SWAT, not, not, uh, um, the CHP, those kind of, uh, turned me off, but, uh, definitely with, uh, the police and, and definitely, most definitely with the sheriff. I work with the sheriff a lot. Um, you know, good people. Now I know I'm in a small community and, uh, compared to the big cities, we don't have necessarily all the problems that they have there. And this is not meant to be a commentary or lessen anyone's experience, uh, if they've, they've had, uh, brutality from officers, you know, there's definitely bad apples out there. Uh, they feel empowered and the system may not be the greatest at weeding them out. I am in no way trying to belittle that, but I work with a lot of amazing different, uh, officers and, uh, I'm really proud of how our com community handles that. And I just wanted to take a moment and kind of throw some positivity because, you know, we're kind of putting all police in this, uh, negative light lately. And there's definitely number of officers that put their lives on the line. They do these civic duties that if it didn't happen, a lot of things, uh, would start to break down in society and not just crime, but other actions that the officers serve as part of the legal system. And, um, a lot of what I interact with the sheriff and it's one of those things where if, uh, you know, it can be a thankless job. And so for those that are doing well, I think it's important that we take a moment and appreciate them. So that was kind of just the reason why I wanted to do uh, videos on that for this week. Next week, we're going to go into something a little more comical, crazy and ridiculous break-ins, uh, uh, stuff that makes no sense that people broke into that I had to go fix. So with that, hope everybody has a good day.